Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to view old Street View images on Google Maps, essentially allowing you to travel back in time. It's a pretty simple process, but it's a really great way to see what places look like back in time, all the way back to when Google Maps Street View first started around 2007. So let's get straight into it. All right, so what you're going to do is to do this process, you can go into your web browser. Um, I believe this only works on the desktop version of Google Maps, so you will need a computer for this. And what you're going to do is type in maps.google.com to get you to Google Maps. Alternatively, you can just search uh, for Google Maps in the Google search engine. And now what you're going to do is find the place that you want to see back in time. So on the street, uh, on the map, you can drag it around and find wherever you would like to. Uh, I'll just try to make this bigger here. Um, there we go. And what I'm going to do is show a couple of places where there is obvious change over time. So these are a couple of places near sort of where I live in Sydney, and they have changed quite significantly over the past 15 or so years since Street View started. So the first one I'm going to show you is a big shopping complex in Miranda so this is a good one to demonstrate so what you need to do is didn't mean to do that so um, what you need to do is find where you want to go and then just like any normal street view you go to the bottom right hand corner here and grab the little yellow man drag him out and then you'll see all the roads go this sort of blue color and then just drop him where you would like to drop him so I'm gonna drop him around here and then it will take you into Google Maps Street View. So this is Westfield, a uh, big shopping complex in sort of southern Sydney. Um, and this is the current, well, the most recent imagery. So you can see it says October 2021 here. And I can click around like any normal street view. However, I can also then, uh, if I come back up here and you see where it shows the date and then the uh, location, I can then click see more dates. And then at the bottom, it brings back all the old past street views for this location. And I can go all the way back to the first one here was in November of 2009. So I can then click that. And now it's taken me back to November of 2009 at this same location. So it's amazing just to see what this looks like. It's actually pretty cool being able to go back in time and you can see um, just like even by the, um, the cars at the time, uh, how old this actually is. And you can see here that the shopping complex was much smaller back at that time. So that's Westfield there. That's all it was. And the rest of this was all old, uh, smaller stores. And then there was also a mire around there as well, but it was much, a much smaller complex. And if we click around, which we can do, I can then see actually what the actual stores were that were there and there weren't that many compared to now. So then if I go back to where I was, you can even see like the old buses and all that that you just wouldn't see around Sydney in 2024 these days. And then what I can do is continue to click through each of the progressions. So the next available one is July of 2013 and you can see there that's when they actually started doing some demolishing and got it ready to expand Westfield Miranda. So you can see um, the amount of land they're clearing to really expand it out. And then if we go to 2014, you can see they've got all the scaffolding up to um, add in the extra stores. And then by 2015, it was already built and ready to go. So that really shows how much things changed over that time. And then since then, not a whole lot has changed in this location as I click through the dates. Uh, it's already been pretty developed. So um, it all looks pretty similar year over year. Um, so that's pretty cool seeing how that was built. Um, and obviously, yeah, in each of the street views, you can click around and see what the entire area looked like back in time. So once again, that's the latest image. And this is the oldest image of the area. So... Um, I still find it amazing, like this bus looks so much older 
compared to what we'd have these days and just the cars and the stores and all that. I find it pretty cool just to look back at these times. Now, another good place that really showcases change over time is in Kiriwi at South Village. So this is yet another major uh, shopping complex in Southern Sydney, um, but this has not always existed there. It's been over the past few years that it's actually been operating. So once again, you find the place you want to go to. I'd recommend zooming in a bit just so you can be more precise. Grab the little uh, yellow man in the bottom right hand corner for street view and drag him out to where you want it. So I'm gonna put him around here. And that's gonna take us into Google Maps Street View. Now this is actually quite a recent image. This is October of 2023. So only really um, three or four months ago at this point. So um, you can see here that there's this huge um, apartment and shopping complex around here at South Village, but it did not always exist. So once again, if you want to see uh, past Street View images, you go up to this little black box and click see more dates. Then it brings them all up at the bottom and then we can go all the way across to as old as November of 2007. And if I click into that, you will see here that, well, there was essentially nothing here. Um, the locals around here call it the brick pit um, because that's essentially what it was. It was just this old, essentially a bit of a dump uh, that was there uh, and there was really nothing there. And the whole area around here looks so much less developed uh, especially with that, uh, without that big complex there. So that's really, um, yeah, quite significant there. And then I can press through the dates. Um, I can click around here as well and see uh, what it looks like here. But if I go to 2009, you'll see that, uh, if we compare that to 2007, the image quality do does look a lot better. Um, you can still see all the old cars that were driving around, which sort of sums up the time period. Um, but yeah, it's looking really overgrown in there, uh, needing someone to do something with it. July 2013, uh, they're putting up some signs. It's sort of still looking like a bit of a dump around there. December 2013, looks like they're starting to clear some land for the area. Uh, and then we go to 2014, you'll see that they've actually put up um, some uh, signage for the building contractors that were working on it, um, getting ready to start the build. And then in 2015, it's still not much has happened. It actually looks like it's um, unprogressed, uh, like it's sort of gotten worse since 2014. 2016, um, you can see the building is actually starting to occur now, finally. By November of that year, they put up official uh, South Village signage. By 2017, you'll see that a lot had gone up. So there's all the scaffolding for the buildings there. Um, so that's uh, quite impressive there. 2018, they had actually opened, I believe, some of the stores, or were very close to at least. You can see it's almost complete, some of it there. And then we've got 2019. You can see popular places like this where there's a main road and all that um, do get captured quite a lot. So um, there's lots of capture dates for street view for this. Uh, more residential areas and like quieter streets won't have nearly as many capture dates as this. So just keep that in mind. Uh, and then you can see from here on out, it looks mostly the same as I click through each of the street views here. Um, you can see not a huge amount is changing over the years now. So once it was built, it was sort of uh, just kept that way and uh, not all that much has changed. So, uh, But it is really interesting just seeing how this compares to what it used to look like back in 2007. And it is amazing, just, just the cars really sums up the time period and the older image quality and things like that. It just um, really shows how places have changed quite significantly over time, which I think is really cool just to look at. And you could spend um, hours just going through all these different streets and just exploring what your area used to look like over time. But it is pretty cool. And when I change the view here, you'll see that the um, 
that the dates down the bottom change to match the view you're showing, um, which is also quite impressive. So you get a little preview without having to actually click on it each time. So the way that they update um, is pretty good there. So yeah, um, that's a pretty easy process on how to view past Street View images on Google Maps. It's really helpful if you just need to see how something changed over time or if you're just curious. It's pretty interesting uh, just to see how it all works. And you can also, in the bottom right-hand corner, see the image capture date as well. So um, that's also helpful. It's, it's here, but it's also down the bottom as well. And it shows you the country you're in and then also the copyright for the current year that you are in right now. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and you've had some great success in being able to see some past Street View images on Google Maps and that you've really found this helpful in just being able to maybe see what your area was like and just explore a little bit back in time because it can be quite fun. And with that, thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Let me know in the comments below if you have any other video suggestions for me because I'm more than happy to make those if you would like to see them. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.